Hey guys, welcome to Water Baby Tarot by Bommy Spirit. I'm Rodin. We're going to be doing the Fire Sign March Crystal Healing video. So it's going to be for Aries, Leos, and Sagittarians. So for, for those of you who are new to my channel or new to these kind of videos that I do, I basically use, <clears throat> excuse me, the Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle Deck to pull uh, crystals that are recommended for you for the month of March. And then we pull some tarot cards to see why you need those crystals. Of course, this is not a comprehensive deck of crystals. Anytime you buy crystals, I suggest you do it in person. We all have our own unique fre frequency, as do crystals. So even if there are a lot of crystals that do the same thing or are for the same thing, you might jive with one crystal more so than the other compared to the person next to you, okay? So always try to buy them in person. Crystal Bible is also a really great resource for looking up crystals and where they're from what they're good for all of that uh so yeah let's go ahead and get into this <clears throat> excuse me uh, for those who are not aware, I've been traveling because I'm also moving. Uh, so I've been on the road a lot the last few days. I literally drove about a thousand miles <laughs> in a few days. It was a lot to say the least. So I am back and I'm back at work. I plan on doing a lot of videos today and tomorrow. And then I'm going to do some packing and then be on the road again. But don't worry. Um, like I said, you're going to be seeing my face a lot still. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> Aries, Leo, or Sag? Who's going to go first? Aries, Leo, or Sag? Leo, Leo. I'm feeling Leos. I'm feeling Leo. Sorry, Aries. I know it's your birthday month. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe you're going to go next, but Leo's calling me. Leo's calling me. What's going on with you guys? You're making a lot of noise. You're causing ripples. You might be bothering people around you. I don't think it's anything bad. I think you're you're... You're making waves. I guess that's the term. You're making waves, Leo. For better or for worse, you're just making waves. People are aware. People are very aware of you. People who are bothered by whatever it is you're making waves about or however you're making waves, they're going to let you know. But you have a lot of people who are also supportive of you. Okay, so also keep that in mind. You have a lot of people who are supportive of you at this time. I just feel like you're very active. I feel like you're very active in the month of March. But this making waves, making waves, making waves. You might be doing something that's controversial. You might be doing something that's controversial or just something that is upsetting to some people. I feel like people around you may be triggered for some reason. What well, crystals are good for Leos for the month of March? Like the, the way they're actually showing you to me, they're showing me a lion, but I don't know how to describe this. You're like, you're mid stride and like your mouth is all open, like very active, very active on the go. I almost wanted to say on the prowl, but I feel like you're just making waves, Leo. Interesting. What crystals are good for my Leos for the month of March? What crystals are good for my Leos for the month of March? You might be approaching someone and it's upsetting someone in their vicinity. That's definitely for some of you. Yes, I'm hearing a hard yes. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> so Leo, some of you are approaching someone else. And whoever's around them, it's upsetting them. Almost like you're going in on someone's territory or something. It's very interesting. Could be between another Leo. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, guys. Could be another Leo that you're upsetting here. Yeah, it feels very territorial all of a sudden. I, I, I keep wanting to do this. It feels very territorial. Well, crystals are good for my Leos for the month of March. Well, crystals are good for my Leos for the month of March. If you're not going in on someone's territory, someone's acting this way about someone you know or towards you. I just feel territory, territory, territory. <clears throat> well, crystals are good for my Leos for the month of March. Can we get some crystals, please? Oh, that's too many. <laughs> that is too many. That was a lot of crystals. Can I get some crystals for my Leos, please? For March, for my lions. What crystals are good for my Leos for March? I keep wanting to say lions over Leos. Yeah, I feel like you guys are just very active. Very, very active. You might even have to be very, like, confrontational and aggressive. <clears throat> what crystals are good for my Leos for March? What crystals are good for my Leos for March? I can't believe we don't have any crystals yet. What crystals are good for my Leos for March? What crystals are good for my Leos for March? Let's see here. Take the top one. 
a joint. I think that's how you say that, a joint. That's more of a heart healing crystal. You might have to dig deep for your confidence and your courage in March, Leo. Um, whatever you're feeling territorial about or what someone's making you, like whatever the territory is about or whatever this approach is about, it's bringing out a lot of aggression. It's bringing out a lot of activity, aggressive energy, very active energy. Yeah, I just it's like very defensive, but I feel like it's more proactive and offensive than defensive. Does that make sense? It's just a lot of action behind it. It's just a lot of action. And it could be because you have a lot of passion for the person, the activity, whatever it is that's making you have to be so active and aggressive. You could just have a lot of passion for it, okay? Any other crystals that are good for my Leos for March? Any other crystals that are good for my Leos for March? Some of you guys could be coming out of a heart healing um, space or time period. Recovery, I just heard recovery. So you guys might be coming out of that, which is actually bringing you more energy to be more active, okay? What other crystals are good for my Leos? Oh shit, guys, that's it. That is it, you got the one card. So this is probably gonna be a very uh, interesting month for you. It probably won't be super challenging. I just feel very active energy with you, just very active. I know it sounds like a broken record, but that is what I'm getting. All right, so let's go ahead and read this crystal off. I always read the crystals because keep in mind, guys, these are very general readings and they're not for everybody. It's up to you to decide if this resonates for you, okay? Are those ducks? I don't think we have ducks around here. Interesting. Okay, anyway, a joint. A joint brings about a profound spiritual revelation. Drawing out karmic wounds, this crystal reframes cellular memory and past contracts. You are a being of infinite love and compassion. Find your core of ultimate peace and universal love. Release your toxic emotions. Replace them with forgiveness, compassion, and serenity. What you have been through allows you to appreciate the pain of another's path. Do not absorb their pain. Remain dispassionate. Detach gracefully and move on. Put down your burdens, knowing you are a being of light. Resolve conflicts and forgive those who wounded you. Give someone a second chance. Honor your promises. Find the best solution for everyone. Let your dispassionate compassion encompass all. Charity or volunteer work is indicated. Immersing yourself in the love of the divine automatically leads to health and happiness. The frequency of the stone is exceptionally high. Great for the third eye, the crown, the heart, the throat, and the soul star chakras. Great for Virgos and Aquarians and for keeping an open, compassionate heart. Leo, if you're triggering anybody, it's time to be compassionate instead of, you know, <laughs> instead of attacking. I don't feel like you're attacking. I feel like you're just standing up for yourself. That's all it is. I just feel like you're standing up for yourself and you're standing up for what you're passionate about, even if it's a person. And I do feel a little bit like you're going head to head with someone, even if it's over someone else or over an activity or something that you just want, something that's just your heart's desire. It does, again, it doesn't have to be a person, but some of you I'm feeling that third party kind of a situation. Even if, let's, let's say it's a romantic situation that you're after someone or you're pursuing someone, this person could even be a friend of theirs. You know what I mean? It's just a weird territorial thing. I do feel like it's almost like fixed sign on fixed sign or Leo on Leo. Like that's really how it's feeling. I know it feels very specific. Well, let's go ahead and pull some tarot cards and see why you need this crystal. Okay. Um, yeah, they're, they're bringing me back to trigger. Whether it's you getting triggered or someone else, this is about bringing understanding and compassion to the situation and just letting things be and not letting it affect you personally and not attacking the person as a result of that. Okay. All right, let's see. Let's do let's do radiant wise. <clears throat> Why do my Leos need this crystal for the month of March? Why do my Leos need this crystal for the month of March? Why do my Leos need this crystal for the month of March? Why do my Leos need this crystal for the month of March? Why do my Leos need this crystal for the month of March? Why do my Leos need this crystal for the month of March? Why do my Leos need this crystal for the month of March? Something about bones? Bones? 
This is weird. Bones? Is that someone's nickname? I don't know. That's weird. They're get, they're they're literally telling me Bones. I don't know. It's, it gives me the heebie-jeebies. I don't like that. Anyway, so Page of Wands in reverse. Yeah, I feel like someone's triggered, Leo. Whether it's you or someone that you're triggering the hell out of, it feels like a territorial issue. I feel like someone might even be gossiping. Someone might be gossiping or just spreading bad news or like tarnishing someone's reputation. I feel like someone's just spewing negative words because they're triggered. Okay, but this card in this position usually indicates gossip. Yeah, I feel like if this is someone, I feel like it's typically someone that you guys are encountering or most likely that scenario as opposed to vice versa. Um, they're just acting out of an immature, triggery, whatever, you know, don't let it, you know, don't let it get you down. Don't take it personally. Why do my Leo's, let's see what we got here. Yikes. Okay. Yeah. We have temperance in reverse, Sagittarian energy, and then we have judgment, fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. Yeah. Just try to practice forgiveness with this person. They're going to they're gonna be very impatient with you. And honestly, I think you're going to have trouble finding your patience as well. Uh, just let it go. This seems like a very minor thing. So that tells me that March is going to be relatively cool for you guys, okay? But this seems very minor. Um... Yeah, I really just feel like let it go. Just let it go. Just let it go. Let it go. They're being immature. They're being impatient. They're being triggered. It just says what it is. I feel like it's almost like they're not getting their way or they don't have control over the situation. So example, example that scenario that I was feeling with three people, like if you're approaching somebody and th this person around them starts acting out, they just feel like they're losing control of the situation, okay? It's a weird trigger for them. It's a wound for them. And I think you're going to recognize that fairly quickly, okay? Why do my Leos need this crystal for the month of March? Woo, we got the devil. Capricorn energy. Yikes. Yikes. Yeah, let it go, Leo. <laughs> Just let it go. It is not worth it. Tell me about a joy. Why do my Leos need this crystal for the month of March? Holy shit. Sun in reverse, Leo energy. Yeah, Leo, whatever's going on here, I... Again, I feel like someone's like bad mouthing or gossiping or just spewing negative words because they're so triggered and I'm actually hearing angry. They're angry about something. And I feel like it's something that you're doing. But all of these cards here, it's literally like, yeah, they're acting crazy. They're imbalanced. Let it go. Just forgive them and let it go. The devil with the sun card in reverse, they're unfortunately um, a slave to their own dysfunction. Okay. And they don't have a whole lot of happiness in their life, whoever this is. Yeah. Why do my Leos need this crystal for the month of March? Over energy? Yeah. Chariot. Let it go. Just let it go. <laughs> Cancerian energy. Underneath that, we do have, wow, the Ten of Wands, Sag energy, and then Ten of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy. And then we have Leo again over here uh, with the uh, strength almost said the Empress card, which is interesting because we have the Emperor here in the Chariot and the Empress here in the strength card. Yeah, let it go, Leo. Just let it go. I am noticing though we have a lot of major arcana that came out, especially we've got two tens here. This could be someone that you've been dealing with for a little while. I don't feel like it's a long time. I don't feel like you've been dealing with this person for years and years and years. Um, even if it's someone, again, who's like the periphery of the person you're trying to approach, they just got their own dysfunction going on. And honestly, it, it, it's a situation of just take pity on them. Just take pity on them. Just be like, all right, I got you. I understand that you're upset because this out of the other. Letting it go, not taking it personally. Just don't take it personal. This is a month of practicing forgiveness with whoever this is. Okay, because at the end of the day, you're more evolved than them. You just are. They're a page, okay? In reverse, no less. They're just an unfortunate soul. I don't like saying that normally, but they just are, okay? Yikes. All right. So Leo, that was you. <laughs> Honestly, like I said, overall, not that bad. Not that bad. I feel like it's not even going to be most of your month. I feel like your month's going to be pretty good. Okay. So do we have left? Aries or Sag? Aries or Sag? Hmm. It's weird, Aries. Like You're calling me? But you're not going to like this response. But there's, you're calling me, but I can tell there's something you don't want me to address. 
you guys want to go next because you're Aries and it is your birthday month for, for my March Aries out there. Um, I can tell there's something already though that is like hidden away like you don't really want to talk about. But crystals are good for my Aries for the month of March. And Aries, you know, who knows? Maybe someone keeps bringing something up to you and you're like, I'm done talking about it. I'm done talking about it. I'm done talking about it. I'm done. I'm done talking about it. For Sunny, I'm definitely feeling that. Well, crystals are good for Aries for March. Yeah, I'm feeling a weird block around you, Aries. There's something you don't want to discuss. There's something you don't want to discuss. And maybe it's because, like I said, someone keeps bringing it up to you or you just want to forget about it. But at the end of the day, you can't forget about it because it's on your mind as if you don't want to discuss it. So Aries, it seems like there might be some healing that you got to do there. Or some just honest conversations with yourself about whatever that is. Okay. Or whoever's bringing it up, they're probably bringing it up for another reason. Maybe they feel like they don't have closure on it. So also keep in mind, this can be vice versa. You know, maybe someone doesn't want to bring up something with you, but you're like, we need to talk about it. We need to talk about it. We need to talk about it. So just decide who you are in that scenario. Well, crystals are good. Well, crystals are good for my Aries for March. Ooh, Aries. We got Lapis Lazuli and Turquoise. Okay, someone's living the good life, Aries. Someone's got it good. Is that what this is, Aries? Is someone begging you for money? <laughs> is someone asking you to borrow money? Is that what this is? Because someone's in a really good spot. Someone's in a really, in a really good spot. I also feel communication is highlighted right now. You know, Aries, I really think that's what it is. I think that you're doing a lot of talking, a lot of socializing, but there's something in particular you don't want to talk about, but someone or many people keep bringing it up with you. And you're just like, I'm sick of talking about this. I don't want to talk about this anymore. I can't shake that feeling. I can't shake that feeling. But someone's in a good space. Whether it's you or someone you're connecting with. What other crystals are good for Aries for March? You know, it's like, it's almost like that typical situation of you go to visit your family and you want to talk about your work. You want to talk about the cool things that are going in your life or the success you've had recently. And they're like, well, why aren't you married? Well, why aren't you married? You know what I mean? <laughs> and you're like, stop asking me that. I don't want to talk about that. You know, it's like, that's a, just a typical example. Just thought it'd be a funny example. Well, crystals are good for Aries. Ooh, too many spirit, too many. Well, crystals are good for Aries for March. Yeah, Aries, Bumblebee Jasper. Yeah, so okay. Aries, I feel like you're in a really good spot. This is indicating a lot of success, abundance, even health. Your health is really good right now. It is your birthday month. So, you know, hopefully you are in really good health. But yeah, I feel like you're just in a really good spot. But there's like, there's something you don't want to talk about. And it's almost like the one thing that people can't, hold on. And it's almost like the one thing that people can't let go of or one person can't let go of. But crystals are good for Aries for March. Ooh, Aries. For some of you, they're reminding you of a person you don't want to think about anymore. That's not fun. All right, now we have Blue Lace Agate. God, look at all the blues that you got going on here, Aries. Definitely indicative of uh, communication and intuition. I feel communication, though. I feel mostly communication with this. Venus just moved into Taurus um, out of your sign, of, out of your sign, out of Aries. So some of you guys could have felt a big shift uh, because of that, because Venus was hanging out with you guys for a while and allowing you guys to create. And I feel like in March, you're just really enjoying your creation because you were just in a lot of creative energy. But let's go ahead and read these off. Okay. Lapis Lazuli. Wards off calamities of all kinds and was one of the most auspicious stones in the ancient world. You are an immortal soul who has profound connection with the heavens. Your purpose is noble. You yearn for spiritual attunement, but may be hampered by outmoded viewpoints. Take charge of your life. Looking into the past puts your present experience into perspective. You are a lineage breaker. Make the effort to trace family history for deeper insight. There is spiritual dis-ease. Work with dreams and journey inward to find deeper insights. Flashes of intuition show the way. Open your heart and third eye. Help comes from on high. Enlightenment is within your grasp. Enhanced perception shows what operates beneath. Study or research is needed. Yours is the gift of true friendship. Protect yourself. Attuning to your divine nature enhances your well-being. 
The frequency of the stone is high. Great for the throat, the third eye, and the crown, and for Saggies and divine reconnection. Yeah, again, I feel like you guys are in a really good spot. There's just like this one reminder that you can't shake off. And it's bothering you. I can feel it. It's bothering you. Turquoise. A copper-based stone attracting good fortune. Oh, sorry. Very itchy nose. Ugh. Since antiquity, turquoise was popular for protective amulets, sacred to Hathor, which is Venus, and to Buddha. It linked earth and sky and made a potent love charm. Your pathway is one of self-realization. Qualities you cultivate now drive your spiritual evolution forward. Draw on your karmic wisdom and past life skills. Release vows that no longer serve you and speak what used to be unspeakable. So there's a communication reference. Watch your health and avoid polluted environments. Brilliant success and happiness are coming. Fortune favors you. You navigate the way forward with sure-footed confidence, but watch your personal safety and deal with problems immediately. Good friends accompany you. You are in the spotlight and others rely on you. Your true riches lie not in the bank, but in your heart. The frequency of the stone is medium to high. Great for your throat and third eye. Great for Scorpio, Sagis, and Pisceans, and attuning to inner riches. Again, you guys feel really good. It's just that reminder that's pissing you off. And I feel like it's around communication or communications triggering that trigger <laughs> for you. Bumblebee Jasper. Uh, startling colors instill a new vibration. The stone stimulates new projects, bringing you the message that you must have honesty in your life. Yeah. You are a divine being with immersed inner riches, holding the bright, energizing light of the sun. You are born to carry out a specific task. Charismatic, you naturally attract people. You have inner strength and courageously go, courageously go where others do not dare. Harvest your resources and put them to work to heal dis-ease. A moment of fertilization, you are being open to new possibilities. Remember that the bee is not aerodynamically designed to fly, but it does. Cut through doubt and uncertainty. Oh, sorry, my nose is like all day, I got all nasally all of a sudden. Ah, relax and focus. Clear sight is needed. Ah, visualize your future. Love and good fortune rush toward you. Grasp opportunities. Be a leader, but avoid arrogance. Trust the universe. You overcome obstacles. Someone new lights up your life. Food intolerances and other allergies may underlie any physical discomfort you experience. Oh, so some of you could be meeting someone new and everyone in your life compares them to the old person. There's just this remind. It's a reminder. It's a reminder. It's a reminder that you just don't want to hear about anymore. Uh, let's see. The frequency of the sun is earthy. Great for the sacral and the solar plexus. Great for Leos, Virgos, and Saggies, and for triumphing over the impossible. All right, blue lace agate, and then we'll get to the tarot cards. But yeah, all of these are kind of touching on communication, Aries. So let me also say, the fact that this reminder keeps coming up, it might be annoying to you, but it's annoying for a reason, and I really think there's something there that you might need to address, which is why it keeps coming up. Okay. And if you guys are entering into, into a new relationship and that's the reminder of your old relationship or the old person you were with, there might be something there that's still unresolved for you. Okay. Blue lace agate. Connect spirit with intellect, highlighting integrity and enhances the ability to communicate effectively what is on your mind and heart. Attune to your inner being to express the fullness of who you are. Be confident when speaking in public as you have much to share. You may have been silenced in the past. Repressing thoughts and feelings causes throat problems. So speak your mind gently, honestly, and clearly. You have the gift of serenity. Use it wisely. Speak your heart for heartfelt truth with integrity and confidence. Do not fear being judged. Expect news shortly and keep lines of communication open. Events unfold slowly. Remember, not remember, excuse me, return to basics and start again if necessary. Interesting, I use the word remember though. Focus your mind and open your intuition. Your life will be long and happy. Accept your sensitive side. Expressing yourself fully releases neck and shoulder tension, thyroid deficiencies, and throat or lymphatic infections. The frequency of the stone is medium to high. Great for throat, third eye, heart, and crown chakras. Great for Geminis and Pisceans and expressing yourself fully. Aries, normally you do not have a problem with that, but there is something about communication here that really needs to be acknowledged or it's just really triggering the hell out of you. But again, if you're getting reminded of something and it's bothering you, it's bothering you for a reason. So try to pay attention to that. Okay. All right. So let's pull some tarot cards. Mm. Uh, I'm feeling cosmic, actually. Let's do cosmic. <clears> hmm. <throat> Why do Aries need these crystals for the month of March? 
white on my Aries and these crystals in the March. If you're starting a new job or you just got a promotion, you do need to change the way you communicate. They are telling me that. You're either too blunt and you need to be a little bit more tactful or you're not saying enough. You're not saying enough and so people aren't reacting to you, excuse me, the way you need them to. So you need to be a little bit more oomph in that area, okay? Why do my Aries need these crystals for March? Why do Aries need these crystals for March? This is very quick. Yikes. Ten of Wands, Sag Energy, and then we have the Prince of Cups, which is uh, the Knight. It's just equivalent to the Knight, so Piscean Energy. The, I'm, hmm. Could also be Water or Fire. Sorry, they keep telling me to pay attention to the signs on this one. Sag and Pisces. Uh, excuse me, is that Neptune specifically? No, Saturn, I think. I think Saturn and Sag specifically. The Sag and Pisces, maybe that is just important to you guys, but they want me to really reiterate that. Sag and Pisces. Okay. Anyway, um, someone's really stressed out. Someone's really stressed the hell out. Um, I feel like this person is like trying to be charming, but they're really stressed. I feel like they might be pestering you. Almost called you Sag. Aries, I feel like they're pestering you. I feel like you feel pestered, but... They're persistent, but now they're also stressed because they've been very persistent and they're not getting whatever it is that they were seeking out. They might be someone who's like nonstop flirting with you or trying to like lay on the charm with you and it's just annoying the hell out of you. This could be an old lover. This could be an old lover or they could remind you of someone from your past because it feels like a reminder with this. So like something that like the fly that won't go away, the fly that you want to forget about. And they're stressed. They're stressed, but they're persistent. Why else do my Aries need these crystals? Ooh, the chariot. Everyone's getting the chariot today. Can't Syrian energy. You could be on the move, Aries. You could be on the move. I feel like they want to move towards you even more. Like, I just feel like this, this never-ending persistent move towards you. And I feel like you're tired of it. I feel like you're really tired of it. I feel like you're trying to get away from this person, if I got to be honest here. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune and Reverse Jupiter Energy, but you can't seem to escape them. You can't seem to escape them. No matter how hard you try to get away from them, no matter how much you tell them no, they're just there being persistent. And you're like, why can't I get the hell away from this person? Why? 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 Why can't I get away from this person? There's something there you need to keep it. You need to address. I'm sorry, Aries. I know. You don't want to deal with this person anymore. You don't want the reminder. I think there needs to be some kind of closure that needs to happen here between the two of you and they'll finally go away because they're not giving up. Could be another Aries <laughs> or Sag. Who knows? Um, they're not giving up. They're not giving up. Why else do my Aries? Ooh, we got a Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Here you are. <laughs> Capricorn energy could also be earth or water. You're not giving them any energy. You don't want to give them any energy. You, they could even be saying that you're selfish. I'm getting a little bit of that. And they're also wearing you down. I'm also getting that too, Aries. Like they're kind of wearing you down to the point where you don't really have anything else to say to them. But because you don't really have anything else to say, you don't have anything to say. So they keep coming, they keep coming, they keep coming. And you're just like, I'm getting tired, 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 tired. You're almost getting so tired of them that now you're actually struggling to find the energy to stand up for yourself against them to get them to stop. I don't like the persistence on this person. It's a little eerie. It's a little weird that they're this persistent. Why else do Aries need these crystals? For the month of March. Yeah, Aries, I hate to break it to you. Whatever this person wants, I think you just got to give them the closure because there's something you're not saying. And like I said, now you're all whittled down. This is probably going to happen like more like well into March, but you're getting to the point where they've worn you down so much because they won't stop that you're just like, you now you really don't have the right words because you don't have any more words to say. But there's something you haven't said to them that I think you need to say. And maybe you've held off because maybe the tr it's, it's hard truth and it's truth that maybe you don't want to admit 
just saying. I'm getting a little bit of that. Let's see what we got here. Now we've got, yeah, Ace of Swords. Mm hmm Truth. 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 <laughs> with the nine of wands more sag energy with the prince of pentacles which is the knight so virgo energy could also be earth or fire yeah because the truth is you want nothing to do with this person i also think that you're wounded by this person and maybe that's the truth you don't want to admit to them that i really don't want to deal with you because you actually really hurt me mm. i know aries i know you guys don't like going down that road but that is kind of what i'm getting here like, that's the one truth you haven't spoken to them, that you've been a little too wounded by this experience with them, like actually wounded emotionally. And there's a part of you that's almost too prideful to admit that, but that's the truth they need to hear to stop. So for some of you, this is a lesson <laughs> here of it's okay to admit when you've been, when you feel vulnerable because someone's really actually hurt you versus... You just don't want to deal with them anymore. Wait, what? Wait, what is this? Recording. I got a weird message. I don't know. I couldn't read it fast enough. Um. Anyway, sorry that really distracted me. So Aries, like I said, for some of you, this is a lesson of I might be in a really good place, but I, you know, at the end of the day, I'm still wounded from this person emotionally versus I just don't want to deal with them anymore. Because Aries, let's be honest, sometimes you guys lean that way. It's okay to admit that. It's okay to admit that. Over energy, we do have Eight of Swords in Reverse, Gemini energy. You've released yourself from this person. You want to fully release yourself from them. You don't want them to be part of your existence anymore. You don't want to hear from them. You don't want to be reminded of them. You don't want the constant charm. You don't want that anymore. It's old. <laughs> it's old and it just reminds you of the pain that they put you through. That's what they need to hear. That's the truth they need to hear. That I think you guys don't want to admit to. Okay? You're in a good spot right now, Aries, so don't let that... Don't let it affect you like this for so long, okay? All right, Sag. Sag, you're next. Where am I putting this? and put that over there. Sag, Sag, Sag. Sagies. How are my Sagies? Are you guys tired? <laughs> Sagies, Sagies, Sagies. What crystals are good for my Sagies for March? Hmm. You know, Sag, this is interesting. Uh, normally, you guys are so on the go, on the move, energized. I feel like you're not. I feel like you're quite the opposite. I feel like you guys might even be reflecting for March. And March is to, is a month of, of awakenings, at least for this year. Seems to be for a lot of people. But crystals are good for my Sagis for March. Yeah, I feel like you're almost stopped. This is weird, Sag. I feel like you're almost stopped or you're taking a major time out while everyone's about to get up and go. It's like you're kind of taking a rest. Maybe, you, did you overdo it, Sag? Did you overdo it? <laughs> did you burn yourself out? But crystals are good for my Sagis for March. I did just hear December. Oh, that's weird. I did just hear December. You might be reflecting back on your birthday month. Um, or you might be reflecting back on some of the eclipse energy we had or what the eclipse energy brought to you for the last couple months. Yeah, I feel like you've been slowed down all of a sudden. Well, crystals are good for my Saggies. Well, crystals are good for my Saggies for March. Ooh, Rotocrisite. You're in recovery. You're taking a break, a much needed break. Are you, I just heard the words put out, put out. Someone's exhausted you, drained you, and I feel like it's because they hurt you. Yeah, you're, you're just taking a break. You're taking a break, but I feel like it's to actually heal, like some actual heart pain, not like physical heart pain. I mean, emotional, emotional heart pain here. Something back, like about like going back to December. I think someone's really disappointed you, Sag, in March. I'm feeling some major disappointment. Feels a little, feels a little quiet. Feels a little bit like a dark place, but that's okay. That's where we do our most, our best healing. Well, crystals are good for my Sagis for March. 
Well, crystals are good for my Saggies for March. Ooh, we got Metalite. Yeah, so you're really healing some feminine energy. Um, I feel like whatever pain you're going through, whatever emotional pain you're going through, it's like wounded feminine energy. It's really affected your ability to create. Let's see what other ones want to come out. Which honestly is also why you're like, I, I just need a break. I can't, because Sagis, you're all about creating. You love that. You thrive on that. You thrive on creating and seeking and the new and the new and the new. Like, that's what you thrive on. You thrive on the constant go, go, go. So when your feminine energy is depleted or you're feeling really wounded within your feminine energy, you almost come to a complete stop. Like, you've lost your steam is how this feels in March. Um, but that's okay. I feel like you're going to gain it back, honestly. I feel like April, you're going to come back swinging really hard, okay? But this seems like a um, a month of recovery. But crystals are good for my Saggies for March. Yeah, now we got Aquamarine. So there's the optimism coming back. Saggies, you're also very optimistic, right? You're just needing a timeout. Someone's disappointed you. You're, I think you've lost your faith in someone because someone didn't deliver or someone just did something horrendous or did something you didn't think they'd do. And it's really wounded your ability to create. So now you're going into that space of healing, recovering, resting, and also trying to become more optimistic again. Someone's almost made you like temporarily pessimistic. What other crystals are good for my Saggies from the month of March? We oh, got another one here. Woo! Saggies, you got a couple. Yeah. Nirvana Quartz and Golden Healer. Yeah, whatever this is, it just deeply affected you, but I feel like very temporarily. It was just, it it was something that you didn't see coming. It just really, really hurt because someone really let you down. Like really, really let you down. I feel like for a lot of you, this probably hasn't happened yet, okay? Or someone turned out to be a completely different person than you thought they'd be, okay? Well, let's go ahead and read these off, all five of them. <laughs> all five of them. All right. Rhodochrosite teaches the heart to simulate painful feelings without shutting down, dissolving denial and identifying ongoing detrimental patterns. It offers compassionate love and forgiveness. You face the truth with loving awareness. Deep down, you feel alienated, unloved, or unappreciated. A history of sexual or emotional abuse creates disease, or you may have misused or feared your sexual power in the past. You may be repressing something you do not want to face. Irrational fears and paranoia and unacceptable emotions need to be acknowledged and transformed. Time for a change of viewpoint. Begin to seek the gifts in your experiences rather than seeing the negative effects. Ooh, where's my voice going? <laughs> Saji, what did you do to my voice? Check out whether what you were taught in childhood is still relevant to the person you are today. Releasing resentment from your heart creates well-being. The frequency of the stone is high. Great for the heart, the solar plexus, the root, and the sacral. And for radiating unconditional and selfless compassion. Saji, I don't know what she did to my voice. Something's going on in my throat all of a sudden. Okay, so there could be um, some major repression of honesty and truth here. <clears throat> oh, man. Ooh. Or just wounding around words. I'm almost hearing that, wounding around words. Menelite. Menelite has a profound connection with earth, the wise feminine and priestess power. It, may, it marks rites of passage through womanhood to wisdom. You are an immortal soul who has an embodiment of the wise feminine. Express this through your body and actions. Go deep into yourself to find your connection to Mother Earth. Sit in her womb of healing. In meditation, you heal your soul. Put aside fear and remember that transitions are necessary prerequisites for growth. Honor your sacred sexuality. Mark rites of passage joyfully. Experience a period of gestation. To move would not be beneficial now. Nurture yourself and bide your time. Withdraw into your inner world to accept necessary change. Make your soul whole and find power allies. You know when it is time for rebirth. Maturation is a process of growing wiser. The soul and the heart do not age. The frequency of the stone is earthy and high. Great for the root and the sacral. Great for Taurians, Virgos, and Cappies and expressing the divine feminine. Okay, all right, so aquamarine. So a lot of sacral healing going on. This could have been someone you were intimate with. Oh. Oh. Sagis, are you finding out someone cheated on you? I'm feeling that. I don't like saying that unless I feel it and I feel it. Okay, obviously it's not going to be for all of you. Aquamarine. 
has long been a healing gem associated with the sea and also with stimulating psychic abilities. It was, it was believed to protect against seduction. You are deeply intuitive, but you need to assess this realistically. Do not be seduced by vivid imaginings, wishful thinking, or spiritual claptrap. Use your imagination to create what is for your highest good and well-being follows. If you fall into depression, remember that hope shines in the darkest places. Release self-defeating programs. Listen to your inner guidance, but be objective. Who accept what's on offer. Watch out for idle gossip. Tie up loose ends before moving on. Remain emotionally detached. Avoid procrastination. Success may come in a court case. Stay positive and remember your family. There is no need to lose the hope in your heart since well-being is a state of mind. The frequency of the sun is high. Great for the throat, the third eye. And great for Aries, Geminis, Scorpios, and Pisceans. And seeing beyond consensual reality or illusion. Yeah, I just keep getting that someone wasn't who you thought they were. Someone has just gravely disappointed you. And it's just really affected your creative center. <clears throat> Nirvana Quartz. Assist in stepping off the karmic wheel, bringing light and bliss consciousness. For many lifetimes, you've been working with your karma that has now passed. There is no need for restitution nor punishment or guilt. Let those go so that you recognize your full potential, receiving a download of cosmic light that transforms your being. Step off the karmic round and allow the karma of grace to manifest. Open yourself to receive enlightenment. Recognize this as a new, be as a new beginning and fresh energy. If you are experiencing traumatic times and soul challenges, relax and wait for resolution. Do not push against the river, go with the flow. Karma is created in each moment by every thought and deed. Uplifting thoughts and positive actions ensure your future well-being. The frequency of the sun is exceptionally high, great for the crown and for Pisceans and embodying enlightenment on earth. Like I said, this is going to be temporary. You're going to go back into your very optimistic way of being fairly quickly after you just spend some Heavy, intense time. I wouldn't be surprised if we get the Four of Swords when we do your tarot reading. Spending some time in some, like, deep, intense, dark healing, okay? Golden Healer. Imbued with powerful, transformative healing energies, they are catalysts for profound spiritual activation. Understanding the quantum world helps you understand yourself. The everyday self is bounded by five senses, expanded by a six metaphysics but this can be transcended to move into a field that is non-local everywhere and nowhere at once where there is no time you create the event being observed allow your soul rather than your ego to be your guide recognize your potential to be an amazing healer your abilities needed honing and those who heal are so scored to develop empathy much in your life needs transforming surrender willingly to the process someone clinging to the past holds you back encourage them to let go you may be asked to transform your environment or take on a challenging task. Do so with grace and ease. Healing flows through you. It is a process, not something you do. The frequency of the stone is exceptionally high. Great for the soul star and the stoic gateway and for channeling the Christ consciousness. Whoever this is who gravely disappointed you, maybe you changed a lot of things in your life for them. Typically, Saji, you wouldn't do that. But if you did, you were very assured that it was going to go well. And maybe it didn't go as expected. Some of you are going to have to change your environment or even maybe your job. Because like, what if there's someone in the workplace that like gravely disappointed you, right? And you just can't stand to see them anymore. So for some of you, this might have consequences of major change, but it's all going to be for the better, right? It just makes more space for things that really are vibing with you. Okay, so always think of it that way for those who have to make a lot of change because of this. All right. Ooh. All right, Sag. Let me get some of my green juice on. Ugh. Okay, let's do, let's do crystal. Let's do the crystal. Why do my Sagis need these crystals for the month of March? Why do Sagis need these crystals for the month of March? Why do my Sagis need these crystals for the month of March? Why do my Sagis need these crystals for the month of March? Where are we at? 44 minutes? Okay. Why do my Sagis need these crystals for the month of March? Got the tower in reverse. Scorpionic energy. It could also be Aries because this is Mars. Some of you could have been resisting this tower moment for a while, but it's coming down very hard is what I'm getting. It's coming down very hard and very fast. I feel like some of you, I'm not going to say this could be avoided because whoever is disappointing you, 
you might have sensed it. You're very intuitive, Sag. You might have sensed that something wasn't going as planned, but you're kind of being hopeful because you are. You're optimistic and you're very hopeful. And you're like, maybe it'll work. Maybe it'll work. This tower was going to come. Okay. Either way, it's coming down very fast. Very fast. Why do my Sagis need these crystals for the month of March? Ooh, yep, Knight of Swords. Gemini energy uh, could also be air or fire. Keep in mind, Gemini is your natural seventh, your natural counterpart here, okay? However, this tower is coming down. It's coming by way of words. Communication. What happened with my throat earlier? It's coming by way of words. Why else do my Sagis need these crystals for the month of March? Why else do my Sagis need these crystals for the month of March? Just trying to watch the time because it always makes a second video at like 46 minutes and some change. So I just want to keep an eye out. Why else am I sad using these crystals from the month of March? Ooh, well, there's a four. We've got four cups in reverse. This is rejection. Oh, sad. I'm sorry. Can't Syrian energy. This feels like whoever's communicating to you, Sag, they're telling you that something's done or that they don't want to be a part of something or whatever news they're giving you is leading to an energy of rejection where you feel rejected by them or abandoned by them. Either way, it doesn't feel very good. There we go. Either way, it doesn't feel very good. And like I said, it's incredibly disappointing to you. Why else do my Sagis need these crystals for the month of March? Why else do my Sagis need these crystals for the month of March? Why do my Sagis need these crystals for the month of March? Why else do my Sagis need these crystals for the month of March? Oh, how interesting, because now we've got a King of Wands, Leo energy, could also be fire or air with the Three of Cups, Cancerian energy. This is someone who likes to be around people. Someone who's usually a party or two, King of Cups, King, oh, King of Cups, excuse me, King of Wands, excuse me. King of Wands is usually somebody who is the life of the party. They're usually front and center. It's that Leo energy, right? Three of Cups is a social energy, a party energy, even a drinking energy could even indicate a third party situation. This is someone who likes to flirt a lot, okay? And whatever news is coming in, it's leading to an energy of feeling rejected. So Sag, you could feel like this person likes all the attention and likes to flirt, but at the end of the day, they're rejecting you. So some of you guys could feel that way. Or some of you guys maybe thought they were a king of cups. And it turns out they're a king of wands with the three of cups. Someone who likes to get a lot of attention from people, okay? Overall energy, we do have the page of pentacles, which is reflection with the sun. Leo energy, oh God. And then the seven of swords, Aquarian energy, illumination about deception. Something was not what it seemed. That's what the seven of swords is. Something isn't as it seems. This is reflecting on that, getting the illumination of that. And then Ace of Pentacles in reverse, a missed opportunity. Some of you feel like this opportunity was stolen from you. Interesting. <sighs> Sag, I'm sorry. This sucks. I know. This is I, I don't like these kind of reads. I don't like these kind of spreads. But that's definitely what I'm getting. Um, I could clarify further, but it seems pretty clear to me. It seems pretty clear to me. Someone either flat out cheated on you or just likes to flirt. And they don't want anything more than that. Either way, you're getting full illumination on, on what the reality is. And you know, honestly, Sag, sometimes rejection is protection, right? We all say that all the time, but it's true. You know, and honestly, if anything that as you expected to happen were to happen with this person, it probably wouldn't have been good, <laughs> right? It probably wouldn't have led to... Happy, happy times. It probably would have led to some Ten of Swords shit, which we don't have Ten of Swords here right now, but it probably would not have been good, okay? Sorry, Sag. I know, I'm like, I don't know what other way to, like, lighten this up. I'm sorry. But you're gonna get through it, and like I said, it feels very temporary. It feels like the pain is very temporary because you're just gonna throw yourself into dealing with it because it does affect your ability to create. It does affect your fire. And Sag, 
if anything, you need your fire, right? So you're going to go into a little bit of that dark energy. You're going to heal from this. And then you're going to get up and you're going to go. And you're going to deal with your shit, okay? Ooh. All right, fire signs. God, I kind of wish I had saved that one for like first or something. But anyway, I hope you guys found that uh, insightful and helpful. Don't forget to check out Vimeo and Patreon. And I will see you guys later. Keep in mind, I am going to be posting more videos in the coming days because I'm catching up. But I'll see you guys soon. I hope you guys have a great night and a great month. Namaste.